Well, welcome back to the Alpha Gaming Channel. My name is Harris Heller. I am your stream doctor, and today I'm going to tell you the six things you absolutely have to do if you're a brand new streamer. And I don't mean like six things that will be helpful. No, no, no. If you want to succeed on social media, especially on Twitch, these are required. Now, first of all, let me just say this video is not for people who are just streaming for fun. If you were just streaming for fun, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video in the first place. This video is for people who are looking for success on Twitch. And that success might look totally different for you than someone else. For you, that might be becoming the top streamer and playing with Dr. Disrespect and Ninja, or maybe that success just means making extra income on the side doing something you already enjoy doing. Both of those goals are just fine. But if your goal is to play with big streamers like Dr. Disrespect and Ninja, good for you. That goal is achievable. It'll just take a lot of work. And I know this because as I've mentioned in previous videos, long before I started this YouTube channel or, or my Twitch channel, uh, I've been making uh, social media content full-time for a while. YouTube videos, Vine, Instagram, all these platforms are very different in terms of their content, but the formula for success is, is very much the same. I've had points in my career where, I mean, my wife and I had literally the fastest growing Vine channel on the internet for about three months in a row. And I'm not even like a social person fitting the mold for social media. I don't like being around people. I like playing video games by myself. Yet we were growing about 50,000 followers a day. Success on social media takes time and it takes patience and creativity amongst a handful of other things. But I can promise you one thing it doesn't require is for you to be cool. As long as you can apply this successful social media formula to whatever platform you're looking for and you can mold it around who you are as a person, you can find success. Anyone can find success on Twitch. So this video is gonna give you the six most important things that you need to start streaming. And this video is not gonna be one of those you need a mic, a camera, a fancy PC kind of videos. In fact, you can you probably do all six of these things without spending a dollar. This also isn't gonna be one of those you need to figure out why you started streaming kinds of videos. Anyone who actually asks that question open-ended isn't actually trying to help you, they're just trying to look smart. You know exactly why you started streaming. You like video games, you wanna make money while playing them. There is nothing wrong with that being your reason to start streaming. While some of these tips are direct and some of them require a little more thought, everything in this list is helpful, especially the last three. So let's get started. And just as a reminder, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like the video and hit the subscribe button. Also a reminder that we're doing the Colorwear giveaway next weekend, October 12th, during the 27 hour stream. I'll remind you of the details at the end of this video, as well as in the description, there's a link to the tweet that has everything you need to know to enter in the giveaway. And of course, make sure you follow me on Twitch, pop in the stream. I am live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Let's get started. The very first tip I have Get a camera. This is the only piece of equipment on this list because it is very important. There are a million pieces of equipment you'll wanna buy as a streamer. None of them are vital for you to start except a camera. All the other pieces of equipment can wait from a mic to a fancy PC to a Elgato Stream Deck, doesn't matter. If you wanna start streaming, get a camera. Your Twitch stream is made up of two things, your gameplay, and you. How you want to balance the importance of those things is entirely up to you and what you decide to turn your stream into, which is something we'll talk about in another one of the steps later. But it's important to know that you must have both of those things. If you're not in the stream, this is nothing more than gameplay footage that someone's watching on YouTube for five hours and nobody watches gameplay footage for five hours. You need to be in your stream. So if you can't pick up a Logitech C920 for 50 bucks, find another camera you have. Grab your laptop. Prop it up, use that as your webcam. Doesn't matter, just get a camera on your stream. Number two, now that you have a camera on you, set up your room. No one wants to see a messy bedroom behind you with a mattress on the floor. Your living space is an opportunity for you to show what you're about, who you are. Make yourself interesting. Make yourself someone that people are gonna ask questions about. Do you have any idea how often I have people ask me if I play guitar because there are like nine guitars behind me in my room? Make yourself interesting. Put posters on the wall, set up your hobbies behind you, put twinkly lights, I don't care. Do something to make you seem more like an interesting person. And you know what, if you're streaming in a closet and you don't have that opportunity, set up a green screen. Grab a green sheet from Walmart and tack it up to your wall. You can do some really cool stuff with a green screen. But setting up your room is more important than getting a fancy overlay. I've seen lots of partnered streamers with thousands of viewers with either a stock overlay from Stream Elements or even 
no overlay at all. Take Lil Lexi for example. She has no overlay on her gameplay screen, but her room is really interesting looking. Number three, learn how OBS works. When I did my first stream just for fun like three years ago, I streamed right from the Twitch app on the Xbox. I used the little Xbox Connect as my camera. It looked like garbage. The bar has raised since then familiarize yourself with the software. Once you learn how the software works, you'll be able to change things to match them to your personality. In fact, Ninja has a 10 minute tutorial on the basics of OBS. I'll link to it down in the description, just watch it. Experiment with the software, find out what you can do. Number four, and here's where it starts getting important. Figure out why people are going to watch you. Did you know that there are over three million individual broadcasters on Twitch? You are literally smaller than one in a million. You need to figure out what you can bring to viewers that nobody else can. And I know that sounds overwhelming, but I want you to look back in your life. You've had at least one friend in your life. That friend chose to be your friend instead of anybody else's friend. You have something that can draw people. Take some time, reflect on yourself. What are your strengths? What are your passions? What makes you unique? How can you apply those things into your stream. Let me give you some tips. What do you like to play? Are you good at a specific game and you want to try becoming the best at that game and focusing on your gameplay? Or do you have a more outgoing personality and you're not great at video games and you should be a variety streamer? Another advice streamer named Ashney recommended writing down a list of all the things you're good at and all the things you like and then running down them and saying, can I make a stream entirely based off of one of these things. Now, I'm not saying you have to be that particular. Grab three, grab four of those things. But you need to figure out what your brand is and build the rest of your stream around that brand. Number five, now that you've figured out your brand, how are you gonna reach new viewers? Because frankly, it doesn't matter what game you play, when you're starting off new, you're gonna be at the bottom of a list of a thousand people playing the same game you're playing. People are not going to scroll all the way down there. It just doesn't happen. When I first decided I was gonna give Twitch an honest effort, I started streaming five days a week for five hours, didn't miss a single day. After six months of that, I found zero growth. And we're not talking about the crappy Xbox app stream. We're talking professional overlays, animations on stream. It was an engaging stream. And there were two or three streams where for five or six hours, not a single person jumped into my stream. That viewer number was literally zero for five hours. So don't think that you can just turn on the stream, grind it out, and eventually you'll grow. It doesn't work that way. Different ideas for growth are all over the place. If you are an incredible gamer, or maybe you have a really large personality and incredible moments happen on stream, clip them, download the video from the clip, tweet it out. I've known a lot of streamers that grew extremely fast because they had a clip go viral. I know a streamer who's used Instagram to grow. He started a meme account on Instagram that grew to millions of followers and in that little, you know, saved story section, he had a link to his Twitch. Or maybe you do interesting things in real life or you're great at video production. Start a YouTube channel. My growth on Twitch didn't start happening until I started making videos on this YouTube channel again a couple months ago. Sit down, make a plan to reach as many people as possible and link back to your stream. Number six, be prepared to take everything you've planned so far and throw it in the garbage. Chances are your first idea to grow isn't gonna be the jackpot. But write up an outline of everything I've said, make a plan and go ham for three months and see what happens. If nothing changes, trash it make a new plan or make some large adjustments. This is a big part of that success formula on social media I mentioned. Give something an honest effort. If it doesn't work, change something. Before my wife and I found success on social media, I'd been making YouTube videos for like five years. We started making music vines every day and we did every day, didn't miss a single day for three months and we found almost no growth. We'd grown like 2,000 followers. So we took a step back and we looked at it and we said, what's something that we can do that nobody else is doing? We changed something and literally three vines later, one went completely viral and we had a handful go viral after that. The point I'm trying to make is if something doesn't seem to be fitting, don't push harder, don't force it. <laughs> if it's not fitting, it's probably not fitting for a reason. I've seen YouTube vloggers that have vlogged every day for two years and their 700th video gets the same amount of views as their first video because they look exactly the same. Don't be that person. Be willing to reflect on yourself 
and evolve. Eventually, one of your ideas will work. But if these don't solve your problems, at least you can get some free stuff from Colorware, right? On October 12th, the launch day of Black Ops 4, I'll be doing a 27 hour stream. And during the stream, I will be giving away a free custom colored product from Colorware. The product choice is up to you. The product color, is up to you. All you have to do is go to Colorware's products page, choose one of the products that I've listed below, design your own creation of said product, and tweet it at me. Also make sure you like and retweet the tweet that I listed below. And that's it, I'll be choosing my favorite design on stream, I'll let Colorware know, they will make it, and ship it to the winner. We've done this a couple times now, we've done Joy-Cons, and Xbox controller, and a Switch Pro controller. It always ends up being something really cool. Also, if you think there's something I missed in this video, something important, leave it in the comment down below. It might help the next person that comes and watches this video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And of course, feel free to follow me on Twitch and jump in the streams that are every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6.30 Pacific time. Also, there's an Alpha Gaming Discord where you can not only get help on your stream, but there's also a whole section of streamers there where if you're looking for a collaboration, you can find some streamers right in there probably playing the same games you're playing. Jump in there, reach out to some streamers. If you wanna learn more about how finding a collaboration on my Discord works, there's a link over to my left, my right, your left. Go check out that video. I hope this has been helpful. And as always, happy streaming. Oh, gosh, there is, there is.